Good morning. It's Sunday, December 15th, and I'm having coffee and povetitsa for breakfast. Now, povetitsa is an Eastern European breakfast or dessert bread, and in this case, I'm having the English walnut version. And here is a nice close-up. It's a walnut paste that is wrapped in a yeast bread, and it's not terribly sweet, which is good, because I'm not a big fan of overly sweet desserts, at least not for breakfast. Um, so this has enough sweetness, but it isn't overwhelming. Um, this particular bread I received as a gift, and the funny thing is, the day I received this, I had just mailed the friend who sent me the povetitsa a babka from a place called Greens, which is a local bakery um, in New York. And so it's just kind of funny. It made me laugh, and um, when they get theirs, they're going to laugh too, because, you know, it's great minds think alike. Uh, the place that they sent the povetitsa from is called Strawberry Hill. Tonight's dinner is sautéed celery, onions, shredded carrots, yellow bell pepper, and a little bit of grilled chicken with green curry paste, sesame oil, and a little dollop of garlic chili paste on top. Monday night's dinner is homemade carrot and pear soup. Good morning. It's Tuesday, December 16th, and here's breakfast. I'm having Greek yogurt with frozen mixed berries. The berries are cherries, strawberries, and blueberries, and a cup of Scottish morn tea. And this tea is very strong in terms of scent. It's, um, it's very smoky smelling, uh, so I think it's going to make a nice cup to get me going this morning. Can, here's a look at the tea itself. It's like little pebbles. Little little nuggets. Like uh, they look like grape nuts. So that's for breakfast. Today's lunch is pear and kiwi slices with brie and hearty wasa crackers. Hi, it's Tuesday, December seventeenth, and tonight's dinner is roasted stuffed delicata squash. Okay, the squash is being put into a 350 degree oven, preheated. I have rubbed olive oil on the cut side and they will bake for 20 minutes and then I'll check on them. Well, the squash ended up being roasted for roughly 40 minutes until I could pierce it with a fork. It's stuffed with leftovers from a curry dish I made a few nights ago. So the finished product for tonight's dinner is roasted and stuffed delicata squash with carrot and pear soup. Okay, I decided to roast the squash seeds instead of throwing them away. And all I did was rinse them off and remove any pulp. I patted them dry and then put them into a 275 degree preheated oven and roasted roughly between 15 and 20 minutes. What you're looking for is for them to turn a golden brown. Nothing too dark because once they blacken they'll taste bitter. Now I didn't add any oils or salt or any sort of seasonings to my seeds but you can lightly sprinkle these with oil and salt before putting them into the oven you can also use coconut oil on these. You can make them sweet by adding cinnamon or sugar or cinnamon and sugar. They're really versatile and they're a nice little snack. Today is Wednesday, December 18th, and for breakfast I'm having one prickly pear, a kiwi fruit, and two clementines. Tonight's dinner is Mediterranean-inspired pipette pasta with broccoli, Moroccan oil-cured olives, yellow bell pepper, marinated artichoke hearts, feta cheese, parmesan, lemon juice, a little bit of olive oil, and uh, red pepper flakes. 
Today's Thursday, December 19th, and lunch is a baked potato with broccoli, cheddar cheese, and Greek yogurt. Today's Friday, December 20th, and I'm about to make lunch using my finished rye bread. I'm having two over easy eggs with feta, olives, and onions on toasted finished rye bread. Lunch for Saturday, December 21st is a grilled veggie chicken burger with sautéed onions, double cream brie, little bit of horseradish mustard on a toasted sandwich round with steamed broccoli and an apple. 